Lizzie came to our session with a Twinkie in one hand and her journal in the other. I have to say, the Twinkie looked a bit worse for wear. <laughs> Hiya, Renee Jones here. She said, I want this Twinkie, but if I have it, it will kick off a cascade of cheating and I don't want to do that. I just keep thinking about it. I journaled about it. I went for a walk. I called a friend. I've done all the things they say and I still want it. The only way to get it off my mind is to either eat it or get rid of it. So I quietly offered her the trash can <laughs> and she said, but I want it. I'd probably dig it out of the trash if I had to. So how do I manage that? know the feeling? I do as well. It's that gotta have it moment that sabotages so many plans. We're frustrated, we're stressed, we're fed up with work or the kids or family or partners or friends and so forth. Maybe it's your kryptonite food, your trigger that floats through your mind or perhaps it's cake in the office kitchen. Whatever it is, you feel you have to have it and have it now. Okay, so you are an adult. You can have it if you want it. Of course. This time, however, as much as you want it, you're stopping yourself from having it. So far, the struggle isn't going away. So how do we get from that initial desire, past temptation, to successfully moving on. Well, Lizzie did have the right idea. She had done the things that are often suggested by every magazine and coach you know, but they didn't quite do it for her today. And much of the usual suggestions are just distractions intended to get you past that craving zone of about 10 minutes. But some days we need more than distraction. It's bigger than that. Maybe not always, but today it is. So ask yourself this. What is it that I truly need right now? What we need in this moment is what that food represents to us. It's a memory or a time when we felt loved, safe, or valued. We felt really good and we were fulfilling our purpose or making a real difference. Maybe we felt cherished. We had hope and confidence and somehow this food was connected to that. So what does that food connect to for you? See, we keep trying to slake our thirst for purpose, joy, and meaning with a Twinkie. Yet the food doesn't bring that back enough to satisfy, does it? Identify what you truly need. And if you need a little help doing that, well, let's talk. Contact me at renee at packyourownbag.com. All the best.